Today on CCX News, Hall of Fame impact. How Joe Maurer's induction into the Baseball Hall of Fame is giving a boost to local memorabilia shops. The Joe Maurer Hall of Fame news is being celebrated around the state, including at a store in Golden Valley. We've been taking calls and our eBay has gone a little nuts. Papa Hawk's Sports and Collectibles has been busy fielding questions and responding to orders for Joe Maurer memorabilia. The store has autographed bats, baseballs, jerseys, and photos of Maurer. Owner Mark Hockstetter says a Joe Maurer autograph is distinctive. When you look at the baseballs and, and we get a close-up picture on them, uh, the signatures are very significantly the same. He doesn't, it, you know his signature, whether it's on a baseball, a photo, a magazine, uh, a three by five index card, whatever he signed for you, hat, jersey, uh, he's very consistent in how he signs. I think that he gave 100% all the time. Even when he wasn't feeling good or his body hurt, every time he got into the, the game. A Joe Maurer rookie baseball card is worth anything from 15 to $30 but Hawkstetter expects that to go up. Winter season can mean sick season. No one enjoys being sick or having your kids miss school. Reporter Emily Haugen stopped by the Hy-Vee in New Hope to help give us an immunity boost. Well, with winter well underway, we're all spending a lot of time inside, and that means it's a lot easier to get sick, and we need to think about our immune system. So I'm here with Jenna DeMoss. Hi. <laughs> she's a dietitian with hy -Vee, and she's going to tell us about things that we can do to boost our immune system. Absolutely. Yes, so the first one that normally comes yep. to mind is going to be vitamin C, right? It's um, kind of an obvious one, but we want those citrus fruits, so oranges and things like that. Orange juice is another great option. And then and um, you can also think about like red bell peppers, um, broccoli, different things like that that we can add into our diet. What are the real benefits of it? Yeah, so vitamin C is an antioxidant. It's going to help protect our cells from that damage that can lead to inflammation and illness. So, All right, sounds good. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Uh, yeah, let's talk about B6. So what is B6? So B6 is helping with the production of white blood cells, which really help fight off infections. So things like seafood and meat and different things like canned chickpeas. So throwing those on your salad. Um, they're also found in winter squash. So you could throw that in with like a chili. And another big one that is everybody's favorites is just bananas. It's nice that there are a lot of options. Exactly, yeah. Okay, what's next? We're gonna head over and talk about zinc. Tell me about zinc. Yes, so zinc is actually coined as kind of the gatekeeper of immune function. So Cheerios is a great example. Um, and what's great about Big G cereals is they're actually fortified in a few things like zinc. Um, so adding that with milk that actually has natural zinc in it is a great option to pair. And coincidentally, it's also fortified in vitamin D. So it's about 20% of your daily value, which is double the amount of what they used to have in there. So that's our next uh, nutrient we're gonna talk about. All right, perfect, let's go. So where else can you get vitamin D? Yes, so vitamin D is found in like egg yolk, salmon, and then like we talked about, it can be fortified in things like cereals, like the Cheerios, as well as orange juice. But oftentimes people might have to choose a supplement, so Nature's Way is a great option. Sometimes um, you're just not getting enough in your diet because most of our vitamin D actually comes from the sun. So especially in those winter months, it might be something to consider. So how do people know that they need a supplement like this one? Great question. So we actually have a really good opportunity coming up for a free screening for vitamin D. We're gonna be doing these kit tests right in the store. This test is a simple finger stick and um, you'll do a little prick and then we'll send this in and you'll get results within two to weeks or so. So in addition to this, there are a lot of other ways that you can take care of your health, right? Yeah, absolutely. So even beyond immunity, whatever it might be that your needs are, we have dietitians that can help with virtual or in-person options. So um, don't hesitate to reach out. We do free discovery calls as well. So um, we can kind of help pair whatever your need is with the right service. All right, well, thank you so much, Jenna. We'll have more tips from her and from hy on our website, ccxmedia.org. Keeping up with household repairs isn't easy, but this weekend I found a local company that could help, and it's run by a group of people that can help save lives.
Since these holes, they're really kind of stripped. So I'm gonna mount this slightly lower with some new holes. Every once in a while, things in your home break. Our house is vintage. It was built in 1979. The sliding door is original to the house. That latch has been a nuisance for the last several years. I've tried coming up with uh, a solution to it, not successfully, and so I figured it was time to bring in the pros. So to fix that sliding door, he called in Curtis Smith. It's a quick solution and cheap compared to having a door expert come out and charge them a lot more money. Smith may not be a so-called door expert, but he knows his way around a house. After all, he spent 18 years working as a Golden Valley firefighter. These people in various fire services are extremely handy. They know a lot about construction. They know a lot about what how a home works. So that translates really well to them knowing how to do all these handyman jobs. Yeah. You see, Smith isn't doing this alone. It is rubbing a little bit on this side. So the first thing I'm gonna look at is if we're able to tighten up these screws right here. He's part of a team of four firefighters who started the business Firefighter Handyman which provides home repair services around the metro. We tend to do the smaller jobs. It's the stuff that might be considered DIY. See how that one works. Yet not every do-it-yourself project is something a homeowner can, well, do themselves. I'm not a handy person. Mark Barris figured if these firefighters can be trusted with people's lives, he can trust them with some basic home repairs. For me, it's a no-brainer trusting them to come into my home and help me with the problems that I'm not able to, to remedy myself. Mark and Julie have a sliding glass door handle that's really just not been working that well. Each service call costs about $100 an hour. And if they can't fix something, they won't charge you. We're not looking to make millions of dollars. We're really looking for supporting firefighters in the fire service. Quick and easy. A little bit of a lock. A worthy cause that will also help take care of those annoying projects around the house. It makes me happy to be able to tell my other friends, hey, these are people I know, they've done work at my home and it's worked out perfectly. Firefighter Handyman also plans to donate 5% of its annual net income to organizations that support firefighters.